Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the sine wave frequency division with a sweep circuit. In the previous video, I have started the symmetrical synchronization concept where we have seen all three conditions like a t is greater than 0, t less than 0 or even for t is equal to t naught, the synchronization is possible. What are they? Synchronization, the main advantage of sine wave synchronization is nothing but your condition. Whereas if you are going for the pulse synchronization, the synchronization is possible only when Tp less than T0. Tp less than T0. But here there is no such condition. Synchronization is possible for all three cases. What are they? T less than T0. T is equal to T0. Another one is T greater than T naught. Here T is nothing but period of sine waveform and T naught is period of your sweep circuit, sweep waveform. See, in exams, if you are asked about this sine waveform, frequency synchronization and as well as the previous concept like uh, uh, sweep circuit symmetrical signal synchronization then you have to consider the circuit diagram of your UJT relaxation oscillator okay because you are working with UJT relaxation oscillator and you are explaining the entire concept with respect to that circuit only okay that's why you should definitely take the help of that circuit and explain I will draw here. Okay. This is VBB because we are having base terminals here plus VBB. Take it as RB2 and this is RB1. This is the base 1 terminal. It is base 2 terminal. Okay, and this is UJT, it is having emitter here, capacitor and it is ground capacitor across which we are taking the output. This is the sweep output and it is resistor R. RC is the time constant during rising period and C into RB1 is the falling period time period, time constant. Now where we are applying the sink input? We are applying the sink input at this particular point. It is the sink input. Okay. So, sync input may be either pulse waveform or it may be a sinusoidal waveform. Here we are discussing the concept of symmetrical synchronization. That's why we are applying a sinusoidal signal which is at the base 2 of UJT. See, this circuit diagram is very, very, very important when you are taking the concept of sweep circuits. Okay. So, the standard time period of this particular UJT without application of your Sink input is nothing but a T naught. That is the meaning of T naught. Okay, which is a sawtooth waveform always. Okay, maximum value is VP and minimum value is VV. Value voltage, peak voltage. Okay, output and this is time period. And what about T? T is the time period of sine waveform which is applied at this particular point. It is the T. T and it is sync input okay now the concept here we are going to discuss is is there any possibility of frequency division with respect to this symmetrical synchronization definitely in the previous cases of uh, pulse synchronization we have seen the possibility of occurrence of frequency division here also the same condition is possible when we are going for the symmetrical synchronization see this waveform Whatever the condition like we have assumed there, Tp is less than T0 for the synchronization. And if it is like Ntp less than T0, then the synchronization is possible with a frequency division of n, n times. That means the pulse will be repeated for n number of uh, 
the sweep will be repeated for n number of pulses here also we are assuming the condition like sweep period ts is equal to 4t sweep period we are assuming here see uh, if we choose if we choose the time period of sinusoidal signal which is equal to which is equal to t s by 4 t s by 4 then what happens that means this is the relation like t s is equal to 4 t t s is equal to 4 t then a frequency division of frequency division of 4 is achieved and similarly similarly if we choose if we choose ts is equal to something like 3t then a frequency division of frequency division of 3 is achieved 3 is achieved what do you mean by three? frequency division of 4 or frequency division of 3 suppose in general in general ts is equal to nt means n is the division factor n is the division factor like about two cases so what do you mean by n is means one sweep is equal to n cycles in symmetrical signal symmetrical signal okay one sweep cycle is equal to n cycles in the symmetrical signal i am taking four means so four cycles three four four cycles are completed within one c within one sweep and again after four one two three four okay again after four cycles another peak will come again after four cycles another peak will come this is for four division of four if it is division of three then three cycles will come in one sweep hope you understand see how it is practically achieved here i am taking two examples one is ts is equal to 4t ts is equal to 3t okay ts is equal to 4t see from here to here it is 1 2 3 4 four cycles are completed within that particular period where it touches here the solid line solid line indicates this one this indicated by solid line okay and ts is equal to 3t 3t is indicated by dotted line now see here it touches and again goes back relaxation period and again rises touches at this point how it is happening means we are selecting the period in such a way of like that okay we are selecting the time period of sinusoidal signal very small very small <coughs> Okay, and again after it touches again after four cycles see this period it touches at the negative peak it touches at the negative peak and we are selecting see what is the difference between this one and the previous signal ts is equal to 4t and ts is equal to 3t time period we are not changing but the amplitude of the sinusoidal will be giving this result in the previous case ts is equal to 4t case the amplitude is very small that means we are allowing the signal to charge for more duration so that the time period increases but in the second case we are increasing the amplitude so the capacitor charging peak touches in the meanwhile only see if this peak is not there then the capacitor has to charge up to this value but as the peak is increasing now as the amplitude of the sinusoidal signal increases we are giving more negative voltage so the capacitor is 
the uh, we are reducing the peak value we are reducing the breakdown voltage so it charges for very less duration very less amplitude and again comes back so this will touch for three number of cycles okay so likewise if you are increasing the more amplitude see if you increase the amplitude like this then it may return here only okay so as the time period as, as well as the time period we are also having the influence of amplitude of the symmetrical signal on the symmetricity on the uh, what is this synchronization okay and in the second case see here illustrating a possible result of excessive amplitude of the synchronization signal in this sweep what happens is if i increase more strength of the sine saddle signal if the strength of the sine saddle signal increases more then synchronization may not result okay you have to remember this point if the amplitude of if the amplitude of sync signal is more then if the amplitude of sync signal is more then there is no synchronization there is no synchronization i told you in the beginning synchronization is possible with all the time periods like t is less than 0 t not t is, is equal to t not and t greater than t not but you have to concentrate on amplitude also time periods okay in all three cases it is possible but if the amplitude is more than synchronization will not result that means if you are increasing the amplitude like this okay there is a limit okay definitely some limit is there some limit should be there if you are increasing like this what happens see somewhere it touches here it goes and touches at this point again it goes when it rises like this it may touch this peak and again it returns there only again it touches here and again it returns only okay in this way sometimes you are having maximum peak sometimes it is having less peak so there is no proper synchronization there is no proper synchronization that's why you cannot increase the amplitude beyond the limit suppose if it is going like this then it goes again to the same value again coming back understand hope you understand okay see this is the result of the more amplitude this is what i explained so okay this is about synchronization with respect to pulse we have discussed and with respect to symmetrical signal like a sine waveform also we have discussed in the next video i will start sampling gates okay very interesting concept and uh, small concepts all sampling gates logic gates logic families all these are some important topics of pdc and as well as very easy and simple topics thank you